saints are historical figures whom Catholics can emulate for inspiration and motivation. These defenders of the faith serve as prime illustrations of what it means to serve and adhere to Christ. Even the most renowned Catholic saints were often just regular people like you and me. They had friends, families, goals, and desires. But, they opted to put spreading the good news of Jesus before all else in order to help humanity. Here are the top 10 saints in Catholicism. Number 10. Saint. Michael the Archangel, patron saint of soldiers and police. The church specifically names three angels, Saint Raphael, Saint Gabriel, and Saint Michael the Archangel. He is referred to several times in the Bible, indicating that he is a significant player in both heavenly and earthly affairs. According to Catholic tradition, Saint Michael is the angel who will confront Satan in the biblical story of Revelation. Saint Michael is revered by Catholics as the patron saint of those who serve in the armed forces and other risky occupations since he also vanquished Satan when the devil first descended. For his devotion to God and his remarkable power, Saint Michael is revered among Catholics. In fact, the majority of artistic representations of the Archangel depict his moment of victory over Satan. The fact that Saint Michael prioritizes God's will above all else and exhibits a passionate Devoted drive for good to triumph over evil makes him a practical saint for Catholics to emulate. Number 9. Saint. Christopher, patron saint of travelers. Travel was a risky activity before the contemporary advancements we take for granted today. The majority of common people's travel was done on foot and in groups, which made what we now consider to be short distances rather a task to complete. This is where the legend of Saint. Christopher begins. A tall powerful guy from the Eastern Mediterranean, Saint. Christopher was. He started a life of theft after deciding that Satan was the most powerful master to serve. This saint would prey on tourists until he tried robbing a cross-signaling man one day. When Saint. Christopher discovered that this guy feared God more than he feared Satan, he decided to give up a life of theft in order to serve God by guiding visitors across a river close to his home. He once assisted a little boy across a river. But as the boy's weight increased, Saint Christopher began to believe that there was no burden on earth that could be heavier. He realized he had been carrying the Christ child as he crossed. He had been doing the work of Jesus by assisting passengers in crossing the river. Number 8. Saint Jude, Patron Saint of Lost Causes Patron saints are those whom the Catholic Church considers to be an ally in particular circumstances in a Catholic's life. But on occasion, like in the example of Saint Jude, a saint's patronage can extend to a variety of needs. The patron saint of miracles and abandoned causes is Saint Jude Thaddeus. He stands for miracles for those who feel they are in impossible situations and hopelessness for the hopeless. These conditions can include critical illness, great need, severe need, and any other desperate circumstances. Number 7. Saint Anthony of Padua, patron saint of lost items. Saint. Anthony of Padua is referred to as the wonder worker by certain Catholics because of the numerous miracles that have happened as a consequence of his intercession. Saint. Anthony began his path to sainthood by joining the Augustinian order while he was a resident of Portugal in the 12th and 13th centuries. He quickly went with the hopes of becoming a martyr for Christ and joined the newly founded Franciscan order. Saint Anthony was an accomplished preacher who traveled the globe evangelizing for the Catholic religion. Saint Anthony was given the power by God to combat heresies, earning him the moniker Hammer of Heretics. He spent most of his time preaching and residing in Padua, Italy, where he won a lot of admiration and respect for his compassion and humility. Number 6. Saint. Joseph, patron saint of fathers, workers, and a holy and happy death. In Catholic tradition, Saint. Joseph is well known for his roles as the Virgin Mary's husband and as the father of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. From the moment God told Saint Joseph to accept Mary as his wife through his fostering and upbringing of Jesus during his formative years, Saint Joseph showed great dedication, love, humility, and trust in God in both of these relationships. The fact that Saint Joseph is known as the carpenter also says a lot about who he was in his lifetime. He put in a lot of effort, shaping wood by hand for his customers. 
to take care of Mary and Jesus, he would have worked hard. Saint Joseph is regarded as the patron saint of fathers and workers as a result of this. These people might draw motivation from Saint Joseph to trust in God and serve him via manual labor. Number 5. Saint Mary the Virgin, the Mother of Jesus Mary, arguably the most well-known Catholic saint, was granted the privilege by God to conceive and give birth to his son, Jesus Christ. She was born without original sin, making her the only person outside Jesus to ever live a life without sin. God's Son was able to enter the world and alter the course of history forever because of Saint Mary's devoted obedience. The angel Gabriel addresses Mary as favored one and informs her that the Lord is with her in Luke 1, 28. What a blessing it must have been for Mary to discover the amazing task God had assigned her to carry out at that very moment. She would have shared many life experiences and the delight of being a mother and son with Jesus. Number 4. Saint Francis of Assisi, Patron Saint of Animals Saint Francis of Assisi who was born Giovanni in the 12th century, was on his way to engage in a war as a wealthy young man when he had a vision of God. He committed the rest of his life to preach and teach about God while living in poverty after that. He led the Catholic faith resurgence that resulted in the formation of three new Catholic religious orders, the Franciscan Third Order, the Order of Saint Claire for Women, the Order of Minor Friars, Saint Francis' devotion to animals is among his most well-known qualities. In reality, he is portrayed by birds and mammals the majority of the time in art. Catholics ask Saint Francis of Assisi's intercession for protection from flames, blessings for animals and the environment, and other causes. Number 3. Saint Thomas Aquinas, patron saint of educators, students and learning. One of the most intellectually bright people on this list of saints and their virtues is Saint Thomas Aquinas. He is remembered throughout history for his complex, exquisite writings as well as for leading a heroic life that Catholics all around the world want to imitate and learn from. Despite coming from a wealthy family in Italy, Saint Thomas decided to live a life of chastity, obedience, and poverty. He sensed that God was asking him to imitate Jesus. Saint Thomas was a Dominican monk who instructed individuals from all walks of life in Catholic doctrine. Subsequently, he was named a Doctor of the Church, an honor bestowed on him in recognition of the numerous writings that still inspire and provoke theologians and philosophers alike. Number 2. Saint Peter, Patron Saint of Popes in Rome One of the most significant Catholic saints, Saint Peter was initially known as Simon and was one of Jesus' twelve disciples during his public ministry. Before Jesus called him to be one of his disciples, Peter spent the majority of his life as a regular fisherman. He had no idea how accepting Jesus' call would have such a significant impact on his life. He accompanied our Jesus throughout his earthly mission and saw all of his amazing wonders, miracles, and signs. The most significant thing, though, is that he personally heard Jesus' teachings and would guide the church after Christ's ascension into heaven. Number 1. Saint. Joan of Arc, Patron Saint of France. Saint. Joan of Arc, a young French woman who has one of the most well-known saint names on this list, contributed significantly to numerous of her nation's victories during the Hundred Years' War. As she saw visions of Saint. Catherine of Alexandria, Saint. Margaret, and Saint. Michael the Archangel, her pilgrimage officially began. She contacted King Charles VII with the notion of taking the French army into combat against the English after having these visions. Her visions and audacity were controversial despite the fact that she demonstrated her allegiance to her country and her trust in God on the battlefield. She was put on trial by a pro-English tribunal of clerics as a result of the public's growing belief that she was a witch or sorceress. Her punishment was to be staked to death. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.